All right, welcome back to Yahoo Finance's uh, coverage of this year's World Economic Forum. Kicking it off with our first live guest of the day, Anheuser Busch InBev CEO Michelle Ducaris. Michelle, good to see you. Last time I saw you was in our warm studio in New York City. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thanks for having me. So this is your first uh, Davos. You have the Davos look down, so that's check done. What have been some of your observations here in the early going of the event? So I, I arrived yesterday, and first of all, it's great to be here. Uh, no best place to meet people. I was just telling you that I met one of our colleagues from the United Nations on the streets, and we had like a 10 minutes conversation, walking, uh, good learnings, and great experience so far. And do you feel like that this is more useful to you as a place to make business connections and other CEOs, or more aligned with the sort of more lofty goals of the WEF to help do things like help fight climate change, for example? It's a mix of everything because the agendas are super packed and you have the chance to learn. So I like learning experiences, talking to people and watching what they are doing, learning from them. But you always have opportunities to connect with one CEO here, appear there and also exchange some ideas around the key topics that we discuss here. How embedded is ESG and, and of course, as part of that sustainability, how embedded is that into the DNA under your leadership at uh, uh, ABN Bev? It's part of everything that we do. Uh, we always say that in our company, in our industry, we work with nature and not against nature. And it's so simple to understand because no water, no beer, no crops, no beer. All sounds terrible. Right? <laughs> and because beer is inclusive, natural, but most of all, it's very local. So if our communities are not thriving, our business is not doing well. Has climate change affected at all Cro crops for, for beer, things that go into beer? Um, obviously, we have fluctuations in water. We're looking at a Davos that doesn't have as much snow as usual, just as one example. How much has that been affecting your business? You see that these impacts, in a way, they are always there and intensifying here, intensifying some places. And we monitor this very closely. We work with the farmers. We have 22,000 farmers that we work very close to them, helping them, supporting them economically, financially, but also with technology so they can understand what is changing and shifting and becoming more productive, more aware, and more business oriented, not for us, but for their own business to be more sustainable. Uh, I had breakfast with one big cap tech CEO this morning, and I was just struck by his tone. He said, we are in a recession already, not headed to one. We are, in fact, in one. Do you see that with your consumers? Are they trading down? Are they pushing back on price increases? Yeah, I think that I saw three different stories on recession since I arrived, <laughs> and I'm only 14 hours here. <laughs> So from deep recession, yeah, deep recession to no recession, what I think is that different places globally are in different stages. And yes, uh, something can happen in all markets, but I don't think that we are too deep into recession so far, right? It depends on the industry. And consumers, you see consumers shifting across the globe, but beer, because you don't have a lot of penetration of private labels, consumers, they change places where they buy, they buy more in promotions, they buy different packs, but they don't change their brands of choice. Um, one of the things that we saw happen in December in the United States, just to speak specifically there, your prices went up and sales went down, at least for some of your competitors. And we also saw some industry data to support that. What, what did you all see? I think that there was a lot of things in play at the end of the year, including the coldest weather that we have seen many, many years. But definitely there was the impact of two price increases overlapping in December. So now in January, you are comping the first price increase of last year. Inflation was very high. It was the first time, I think, in many years that we had two price increases in one year to catch up with inflation. And we need to see now that it's coming Super Bowl season. Mm -hmm. Let's see how things will play in January and February. So are more price increases coming? I think that most of the, the price for the industry, they were done in October, November mm -hmm. last year. Now you are comping the year before price increase. So during this period of October, November, December, there were two price increases, mm -hmm. one done in February and one in October. So there was 
a load for consumers to digest and retailers. And now you're getting into an easier comp because the last year January price increase is already into the books and you have only the regular price increase of October. You mentioned Super Bowl. Uh, it is uh, very, very close. Um, am I going to flip on the TV? Do I see the Budweiser Clydesdales? How are you showing up at this year's big game? So there is a lot uh, brewing there. Wow. <laughs> the team is going to be releasing some of the TV commercials yeah. now, but you can expect Bud Light, Michelob Ultra, and some other of our brands showing up during the any uh, any. Do you still get the same bang for your buck marketing on TV as you did a decade ago during the Super Bowl? It is a combination. So the mix of channels they change, but Super Bowl is always Super Bowl. Uh, everybody loves the, the game, we love sports, and our teams, they work creatively to reach consumers in digital, in physical experiences, and also using TV as part of the market mix. Have you pulled back on your digital marketing at all? Uh, not really. I think that changing different channels, different ways of connecting with people, but digital has been growing over the years, and I think that continues to grow, but TV remains very important. One cro product question you is, is wine so yesterday is the best days for wine beyond it. Wine sales have come under pressure and, and there's been some talk in the industry that beer is having a resurgence at long last. So we are not specialists in wine, as you know, mm -hmm. we are specialists in beer. And I think that there was some overdevelopment over the, the wine industry for a while. We see trends going down. A lot of consumers talk about the sugar content and the high calorie and beer, especially light beers, they're very refreshing. Uh, they're very close to people, hearts and occasions, and especially when you have great products like Michelob Ultra, Bud Light, they are always a preferred item for consumers. Yeah, Michelob Ultra is uh, very close to my heart. Well, enjoy, uh, enjoy your that. Davos there, uh, Michelle Ducares, Anheuser-Busch, InBev CEO. Good to see you. We'll talk to you soon.